everybody has a phone. But not everybody has a prayer life. It amazes me before COVID-19 came. As a family, we would go out to eat. And we'd look over at the other tables. And everybody's on their phone. That used to aggravate my wife. And Psalms 145.18. Do we call upon God? Psalms 145.18. The Lord is nigh unto all that call upon Him. And you call upon the Lord. He's there. He's close to you. And there's no secret trance, secret position that we can get into to call upon the Lord. You don't have to be on your knees. You could be driving a car with your eyes wide open. I advise you, if you're driving a car and talking to God, keep your eyes open. But He's there. You know, we have a promise in the Bible that we're two or three to gather together in my name, there I am, amidst of them. And we also have the promise when you call upon the name of the Lord, He's there. And to all that call upon Him in truth. Now, there's been some television shows, a family television show, I won't mention by name. And one of the things, they would have everybody gathered at the, at the table and somebody would say the blessing. Listen, if your prayer life is a script. God ain't there. If you pick up a religious book, you know, uh, say this prayer, say this prayer, say this prayer, or I got this bead, I got that bead, or you know, hollow thy father in heaven. And that's not talking to God, that's script. And calling upon God is not, oh, oh, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. One of the things I do when I get up in the morning is like, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I don't really have any plans today. I'm not going anywhere or I'm going somewhere to be the honor and glory for you today. Thank you for a good night's sleep. Thank you for taking care of me. That's calling upon the name of the Lord. That's calling upon God. When you type out your Facebook for God, that's calling upon God. And the Bible says He's near. And in true, don't call upon God in fables and lies and call upon Him in true. For Jesus is true. Now it's interesting when we run through the scriptures of Genesis uh, chapter 4 verse 26 is the first time we find call upon and to Seth to him also there was born a son and called his name Enos then began men to call upon the name of the Lord you mean in history, and it's recorded, then they began. From Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel and Seth to his son. Man, that's a lot of people. And Adam and Eve had other children. And there were grandchildren. And to Enos, they finally called upon the name of the Lord. That's tragic. From the time of the fall to Enos, we don't know how long that was. And we are in the days of COVID-19. And people are calling out to Johnson & Johnson. They're calling out to Pfizer. 
I don't know what this scientist name is, Bucci, whatever his name is. They're calling on the media. They're calling on Donald Trump. They're calling on Biden. They're, but they're not calling upon God. And today the United Nations put forth the warning of global warming, climate. That's what the big fear is. No, the fear is not fearing the Lord. Not calling upon God. And if the people today throughout the world and throughout America and the Christians, if they were to call upon the name of the Lord in help, there would be answers. But they're not going to. We're in an apostate church age where the church says we're rich, we're wonderful, we're great. God says, no, you're not. Second Samuel. Second Samuel 22. Now, we're not looking at all of them. Second Samuel 22, 4. I will call on the Lord. David. Who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. There are people again today, they're calling on pharmaceutical companies. There are people today, they're calling on Donald Trump. There are people today, they're, they're calling on nobody. <laughs> Help us. And they're not calling upon the name of the Lord. And yet the Lord is worthy to be praised. And one of the things we call upon the Lord is praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord God, that you are my blessed hope. And my world is not going in the spiral of an airplane crashing of what the world is doing. I've got hope. I've got the blessed hope. And I can call upon God and God said, I will be near. Worthy is the Lord to be praised. Worthy of the Lord to call upon him. And he'll save you. The biggest enemy we have is the devil and Satan. The next enemy we have is our own flesh. And I said we get up in the morning. First thing Lord God you know who's going to give me trouble? It's going to be this flesh. I need help, Lord. I need saving because I'm going to be tempted. I, my flesh is going to do things that I don't want it to do. And you don't want me to do it. And then Satan's going to show up. We ought to be witnessing and getting the gospel out. And the, the sword that went out, the very first thing that went out after the sword was the devil. We better be calling upon the Lord when we have any public ministry. Lord, please, let this track be read. Please, Lord God, let it not end up in a garbage can. Lord, let this heart, let this track get into the heart of someone for salvation. We ought to be calling upon the Lord in everything. He's worthy to be praised. God is great. First Kings. First Kings, chapter 18, verse 24. And I, let me see, and call ye on the name of your gods, Elijah said, and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answers by fire, let him be God. And we know the God that answered. We know the God that brought the fire. And it's the God Jehovah. There are people today throughout the world, whatever circumstance, they're calling upon Allah. Allah ain't God. They're calling upon Mary. Mary's not a God. They're calling on Baloni. Baloni ain't no God. 
They're calling on other men. They're calling on political parties. They're calling upon themselves. They're calling upon dead presidents. To have values of 1, 5, 10, 20, 50. Those are gods. There are people that call upon God. And we know by the Psalms they have ears they cannot hear. And yet our God has ears to hear. And he will choose at times through our prayers, yes. No. Not now. We've seen in Psalms 145, he comes to us when we call upon him. Now, he may not always get right up against us, but he's there. He's near. But we have victory when we call upon the Lord Jehovah. And everybody else has got the gods of failure. And if God does answer by no, it's a good and healthy no. And if God's not now, later, it's a good and healthy not now, but later. But we need to realize we have a God that has ears to hear. And all the world is in hopelessness and failures of their gods. We have the God that answered by fire many times throughout the scriptures. Our God's a consuming fire. First Chronicles. First Chronicles. Chapter 16. First Chronicles 16 8. Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. We're to call upon God, not God, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. But God, thank you. God, I'm not worthy. God, you blessed my life. Count your many blessings. That's thanking God. Realize we can spend an entire day counting the blessings and thanking God. And make known his deeds among the people. Tell people about the God you call upon. Tell them about the name of Jesus. There are too many people out there. Will you come to church? Will you come to my church? We have a great church. We have a great pastor. What about the God? You know what I was thinking the other day? I've been through a few hurricanes. Both up in Connecticut and Florida. And those hurricanes, I called upon God to protect my family, take care of my family, and help us. And he has. And we've had to relocate ourselves. You know, of all those hurricanes and all the churches I've been in, not one pastor ever opened the church house for the congregation to come and be saved. And yet people call upon the church, they call upon the great pastor, and but times of hurricanes, why is the church doors closed? Tell the people, tell them that Jesus said, tell them he's taking care of you. It's not about the church. It's not about the pastor. It's about our great and wonderful God. You can talk and yak 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 on the phone yak 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 yak. Well, I can't open my mouth. I'm afraid to say anything. But I bet you I take that stupid piece of phone and put it from your mouth. Yeah 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 yeah. How come you can talk on the phone but you can't talk to God? 
How come you can tell people about the ball game? You can tell people about the, the cake recipe. You can tell people about what you made. You can tell people about somebody else. You can gossip about people, but you can't tell people about God. There used to be a day in America we would give th thanks to God decorated by George Washington. Now that one day, come on everybody, hurry up, hurry up. We, we got to go buy junk that we can't afford for Black Friday. You got to sit in front of that tube and watch the ball games. We don't thank God. We ought to thank God every day. Every night. Every blessing. Thank you, God, for this job I'm complaining about. Thank you, God, I'm able to get out of bed. Uh, I won't say it. Psalms. Psalms. Chapter... That one? I hope it's four. Psalms 4, verse 3. I got bad hand right now. But know, do you know, that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call upon him. You know, if you are a child of God, he tells Satan, it's my son. That's my child. That's what he told Job. You consider my servant Job? And again, we have a God that has ears to hear. Allah don't have no ears because Allah is nobody. The Pope has ears, but he can't hear his congregation throughout the world. There is no hope in the Pope. Only Jesus saves. The Pope don't know who who this is. But God does. Not only does God know who are his and who's in his family and who's written the Lamb's Book of Life, but God who made the stars calls them by names. I can't even remember the people I pray for what their names are at church. But God's never forgetful. And said he will hear when I call upon him. He listens. Now we get upset when God doesn't answer. But he hears. And it may not need immediate attention. As much as we think. But he heard it. It's not that God has selective hearing. It's. There are other priorities. But he heard us. And he knows. And he sets us apart, those that are his. And those that are his, he hears us. And he listens. Psalms 116. Psalms chapter 116. 13. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. And that's going to come up later in Romans. If you want salvation, you want to be saved, you call upon the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord ain't Mary. The name of the Lord ain't your pastor. And ain't your church and ain't your denomination. The name of the Lord ain't salt water, it ain't river water, it ain't baptism. The name of the Lord is Jesus, Jehovah saves. That's the salvation. And when I ask people, are you going to go to heaven? I'm good, that's not the name. I go to church, that's not the name. This weekend I had a guy, I'm a Methodist, that's not the name. The name of salvation is Jesus Christ. 
the Lord Jesus Christ. Because you got to be careful. Because Paul tells us there's another Jesus. And it's told to us that there's no other name given amongst men whereby we must be saved. Saved by the suffering and the death of Jesus Christ according to the scriptures. And being buried. And rising from the dead three days and three nights according to the script. That Jesus. You got to be careful. I got to, in the files of my picture somewhere, I got a Roman Catholic Church that says, Jesus Christ, Savior. And the Roman Catholic Church don't have a Savior, Jesus Christ. If you want salvation, it's in the name of calling upon the name of Jesus Christ to save your soul. And no other. Verse 17, I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving. And will call upon the name of the Lord in thanksgiving. It's not Oh, I want to thank America for giving me my monthly check. I don't. I want to thank the Social Security system for giving me my check. I just want to thank our pastor and thank our church. How great they are! That's not the name. That's not the salvation. That's not the thanksgiving. Have you called upon the Lord Jesus Christ to save you? Have you thanked the Lord Jesus Christ for saving your soul? Have you called out to Jesus Christ in your needs, your wants, your health, and thanksgiving? Our Father art in heaven, how be that? That's not the name. Father is not the name. And when you do your beads, Mary is not the name. And when you, there's, you know, Mary's my mediator. Oh, the Bible says, the Bible says, there's one mediator between God and man, the man, not female, the man, Christ Christ. Jesus, the name that saves. Not Mary. Not even the sex. Mary's female. You need the male, Christ Jesus. Give him thanks. Call upon his name for salvation. Call upon the name of the Lord. Acts. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Well, you meant whosoever. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth shall not perish. The gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Oh, these people said the prayer. That prayer is not the name. Did they believe and call on the name of Jesus Christ? Because look what it says, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth. That's the name. Ought to be no other name than the name of Jesus Christ. There ought to be nobody you call on. Now I know Jesus said those that are sick need a physician. And you come to a time in your life you got a medical ailment. 
Do you call on the name of Jesus before you call Dr. So-and-so? Lord Jesus, I've got this ailment. I am your child. I thank you for salvation. But Lord God, I need help. Do I need a doctor? That woman in, in the Gospel of Luke, she went to every doctor and spent all her money to the doctor. Then she came to the name of Jesus and was healed. Asa, I think it's Asa, he, he had the disease in his feet, but he sought the physicians and not God, Jehovah. And his feet got worse and worse. There are going to be plenty of people at the great white throne judgment. I called on this. I called on that. I said this prayer that. I called on these gods. I called on this religion. I called on this man. I called on this woman. But I never called on the name of Jesus Christ. And there will be Christians at the judgment seat of Christ. Wood, hay, and stubble. I want to thank Mr. Such and Such. I want to thank Mrs. Such and Such. I want to thank Dr. Such and Such. I want to thank this person. I want to thank this government. I want to thank this Republican. I want to thank this Democrat. I want to thank this church. I want to thank my mother. I want to thank you for the trees that gave me paper. I want, but you did not thank and give the praise and honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. Gold, silver, and precious stones. All that is done for Jesus Christ will last. And all that's done for others and self will burn up. Last place, Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10, verse 12 and 13. For there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. That's all the race of people. You're either Jew or you're a Gentile. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. All right, and in it. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Who saved you? Who do you speak to? Who is your honor? Who is your credit? Who is your authority? Who is your salvation? Who do you thank? Who do you trust? Who do you speak to? The name of the Lord is Jehovah. The name of the Lord is Jesus, Jehovah saves, and there's no other. Speak to the Lord today. Speak to the Lord every day. Speak to the Lord throughout the day. And thank Him. And ask Him. And praise Him. Seek His help. Seek His guidance. Seek his salvation. 